Hi there, stampers and crafters. Today is a really exciting day. We've been looking forward to this. It is my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's June blog hop, and we are showcasing products from the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog that came out the beginning of this month. And I am really excited because I chose the llamas. <laughs> this is my project. I love the llamas. These are from the festive birthday stamp set. I love them, love them, love them. Okay, did you get a good look at that one? Let me show it to you again. There's one llama who's posing for a little Polaroid photo with another llama photobombing him. Loved it! Too fun. Photobombing llamas. Does it get any better than this? So I'm going to show you how to make this card in just a minute and you'll want to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to share our giveaway and how you can enter it free. And you're also going to want to click over to my stampwithtammy.com blog post because you can take the tour there and see all of my team's amazing projects that they made for this blog hop. You're going to love them. They are very talented. All right, let's go make some photobombing llamas. This is a Tammy original, although I did get the photobombing llama idea from my friend Diana Gibbs, who had done something similar a few years ago with a different stamp set. And when I saw this, I just remembered how cute that was. And it worked perfectly here. <laughs> Our image is stamped and cut out with the Birthday Fiesta stamp set and Coordinating Fiesta Time dies. Such a cute set together. And you can purchase all of these supplies that I'm using today and get all of the measurements and details on this card and download a free PDF on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. My gift to you. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. I've got a little piece of Whisper White here. Okay, I'm just gonna bring a little scrap paper in here because we are gonna go off the edge. I'm gonna use some stays on permanent black ink here. Using the permanent ink will help us when we're watercoloring to keep the image from bleeding. We're gonna ink up our llama. And we are going to stamp him in the bottom center. His feet will be a little bit off the bottom edge of this white panel. Oh, I'm gonna stamp just his head again on another piece of scrap white. I'm also going to stamp the llama on a posty note. And the sticky part is right there. I want there to be stickiness underneath him, so I'm going to stamp him right up against the sticky edge because we're going to use this for a mask. Now you could cut this out with a framelit. I'm going to cut it out by hand and I'll tell you why. And the reason there is because I want it to be really tight up against the llama and the framelit leaves a tiny little bit of an edge, which is fine for the next portion that we are gonna use the framelit for. But for the masking technique that we're gonna do, I'm actually even going a hair inside the line of the llama when I'm cutting this. And it doesn't have to be an awesome cutting job. In fact, we're not going over his head at all, so we can just boop, cut his head right off. Oh my gosh, that was awful, wasn't it? This is turning into a horror film. Don't mind the phone behind me. <laughs> As always, forgot to turn it off. Awesome. Okay, so that's about all we really need from him. We just need to be able to cover the two portions of his body where we're gonna where we're gonna stamp the cacti or <laughs> two cactus, or whatever is the cacti is the correct plural of cactus, right? Cac cacti. Okay, so we're going to stamp one behind his butt, behind the llama butt, and the second one in front of the llama. And here's where the magic happens. Wait for it. Ta-da! <laughs> it's like he's standing in front of the cactus. Very cool. Or cacti. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay, next we're going to color our two llama images. To do that, I'm going to use the Crumb Cake ink pad and the Dapper Denim ink pad and a Stampin' Up! blender pen. These blender pens, they're like a clear, almost like a clear marker. And to use the ink pad, I'm going to squeeze it. This is going to cause the ink to pool in the lid. And then we're going to pull the ink just and color with it, just like you kind of just like you would with a marker. Now we'll start with we'll start with the portion that we're going to use for our photobombing llama. Although it doesn't really matter which one you start with. 
Feel free to start with the main llama if you want to. And you really only need to do his head here. So I'm going around the edges of his head first, causing them to be a little bit darker. And I might even go shade it a little by going over that hair. And then the center of his face and neck are a little bit lighter. So that's what he looks like. I'm gonna do that again with our mean llama. I love the look of the blender pen. It's almost like watercoloring, like a cross between watercoloring and coloring with markers. And it's a great way to color if you don't have a particular marker, stamp and write marker of a particular color. You can use the blender pen and the ink pad just like this. It's a great substitute. And I'm just going around the edges of his body just a little bit. Give him a little Give it, give it a little shading. Have a little fun with it. Don't be shy. Now when I'm done, I'm just gonna wipe the crumb cake off the edge of the blender pen and then I can use the exact same blender pen in the dapper denim. Same thing, gonna squeeze so that the ink pools in the lid. And then I'm gonna lift that and color in his little blanket. And our image is complete and it is just so adorable. Love this llama. We've got the Big Shot die cut machine with the magnetic platform. One cutting pad underneath, one llama, one llama framelit. Now here we actually like the border around him and that's why I'm not fussy cutting him. One cutting pad on top and crank it through. So adorable, isn't he? Just love it. All right, I am sad to say I am going to decapitate yet another llama. <laughs> and we're gonna make him photobomb right over here. Like he is just, he is just sticking his head right in that photo. And then we're gonna cut his body off. My gosh, just so you know, no llamas were harmed in the making of this card. <laughs> All in good fun. We love you llamas. <laughs> That's how we got our photobombing llama. So adorbs. Okay, now we're just gonna do a little bit of assembly. And I'm just using snail adhesive to attach our layers together. Again, the measurements are on my stampwithtammy.com blog and now we have our little Polaroid photo. You could just stamp this second llama rather than cutting him out. You could just stamp his head there, but I love that it is, I love the border around it makes him look like he's popping right off of this picture and it really looks like he's sticking his head right in the camera it's so fun <laughs> very very cute now for our background i'm using some of this awesome new serene scenery designer paper it's a stack of paper that stampin up just came out with love this now i used the circle pattern for the background of my original card but i'm gonna go a little bit different on this one so I was torn. I, I really like this cloth. It just looks like it fits the card perfectly. So I think I'm going to go with that. But I think either way, whether you use this dots or the cloth, I think they both look fantastic. And I always have this little sadness when I'm permanently sticking this pretty paper down, never to be seen again. And probably I should have put our... Um, I should have I should have put our little pom-poms on before I did that so forgive me I am gonna do that now I'm just gonna measure that's four inches so I'm just gonna measure it by my eyeball here and I use snail to attach this so I just ran a little thread of snail straight down and then just attach the pom-poms right to that and that is just such a fun accent piece I love it love it and to add a little pop, I'm gonna put this photo down with some Stampin' Dimensionals. 
And I thought it was fun to put it down at a little bit of an angle. You could go straight up if you wanted to, too. And you could also stamp words on there if you wanted to. But leaving it like this just left it good for all occasions. It's such a freaking cute card. I love the photobombing llamas. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this project. And before you jump off and go check out the rest of my Stamp It Blog Hop tour, here is the giveaway details that I promised you. Wasn't that flippin' adorable? absolutely love it. The llamas have been my favorite since the first moment I saw them. I was so excited when I got the set. I could not wait to start playing with it. So now it's time to announce our Stamp It Blog Hop giveaway. It is for this brand new perfectly wrapped project kit. It is an amazing kit. It makes a bunch of different gift bag and packages and it's all included right here in this kit. So very cool. To enter is free and easy. All you need to do is pop on over to my blog at this URL or clicking on this YouTube video and leave a comment on this blog hop post with the hashtag stamp it contest. And you can enter once on every blog in this hop. So you can enter multiple times and the winner will be drawn on July 24th. And if you are watching this after the deadline, you can check out my current giveaways on my specials page of my stampwithtammy.com blog. Good luck, enjoy the blog hop, and we will see you soon.